I would share with you today, though, that for the last 11 years, I really didn't care as a wife and mom. I would always go to main event and get my hair cut, and Jason cut my hair, and I'd always speak to Karen. She'd always speak to me, and I'd go to football games with John play and Kate would dance, and then I would see Karen, and she'd be mom there. But about nine or ten months ago, I went to Jackson to see her when she was in the hospital at the university. <coughs> uh, Jason had gone to do something, and he was scheduled to come back in about an hour. And so that just gave me a little time to sit down and just talk to Karen one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm so grateful God for me to be that privilege. It gave me a chance just to get to know her, not as a, a wife and a mother, but just as a person. And I'll tell you that I was so impressed with her spirit, her sweetness, her strength, her spirituality. So many wonderful qualities were demonstrated in life of Karen Nicks. You're aware of that. But I want to be able to share some personal reflections with you that would far exceed what I knew about Karen. So I had a chance to meet with some of the family. I just want to share with you some reflections that they provided for me. What are some of the things you remember about Karen? The immediate answer I received from the family was her laughter. And I'm sure her friends can relate to that as well. Another favorite memory was taking long rides in the car while singing Jason and Alvin songs to the top of our lungs and then going out to eat. Jason added, she loved and looked forward to going to the beach every year for vacation. She would sit out on the balcony and just watch the water. Dylan and Kate offered this observation. She loved to sit and watch John as he played and sang. She enjoyed coming to church and watching Jason perform his role as Jesus in the Christmas and Easter pageants. Karen loved watching Kate dance, watching her tableau, and accompanying her on photo shoots. She was passionate about taking care of her clients. She was a huge LSU fan. That was new knowledge to me. <laughs> I knew Jason was a big Ole Miss fan, but I had no idea that Karen was an LSU fan. <laughs> that is a, is a testimony to their love. <laughs> Karen enjoyed the simple things in life, like slowly riding around their property on the golf cart. Jason characterized Karen as being a classy lady. He knew when he met her that she would be the mother of his children. He was certain that God had brought them together, and they did life together 24-7. When I asked about her spirit, Karen said her replied she was genuine, caring, spunky, giving, and loving. She was also very perceptive when she met people. She could sense what was going on in their lives. She was a strong lady. Her nurses offered this observation. We all wanted her as our patient. In addition to being a loving person, Karen was also a person who was loved. She was deeply loved and appreciated by her family. Karen as it would be revealed repeatedly throughout her sickness, was deeply loved throughout the Miss Lou community. This was evident by the number of people who showed up for the blood drives. Every single time, a huge crowd of people gathered, waited in line, patiently, ready to give blood to mean that they could and show the love for Karen and her family. People offered financial support. Unsolicited, they just wanted to say, we love you and we care about you. In fact, I don't think I'm wrong when I say that her illness seemed to bring the community together as people rallied together to pray and show their support. What a wonderful tribute to this lovely lady. Make no mistake about it, Karen was loved and her passing has left a huge hole in our community, our church, and especially our personal lives. But because of our Lord's sacrificial death on the cross at Calvary, we gather this morning not to say goodbye, but we'll see you soon. This is the hope that every person who comes to the cross and receives the atoning death of Jesus Christ has, that we will see each other again, and that time will be forever in a place called heaven. And it's all made possible because of another of Karen's favorite songs, song about the cross.